सो हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्क्रीन कास्ट माई बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट वन वन सिक्स सो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ आई अप्रोच टू द प्रॉब्लम एंड एट द एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द सोल्यूशन टू ईच प्रॉब्लम सब अरे डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर वन मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ चेंजेस टू मेक बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग ब्यूटिफुल लेंथ ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट सब सिक्वेंस दैट सम्स टू टारगेट एंड सब अरे डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर टू इट इज द अपडेटेड वर्जन ऑफ द इजी वन सो इन द इजी प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवेन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजियर अरे नम्स the distinct count of a subarray nums is defined as the late num of i j b a subarray of nums consisting of all indices from i to j such that i and j belongs from 0 to nums dot length then the number of distinct value from is called the distinct count of nums of i comma j return the sum of squares of distinct count of all subarrays so in the subarray 1 to 1 there are six possible subarrays so it has one distinct value one distinct value one distinct value and two distinct value so sum of squares of distinct counts in all subarrays squares of all okay so we can directly create a map and write the code equivalently Twenty-seven and four. Fifteen and three. So moving on to the next problem. So you are given a zero-indexed binary string x having even length, a beautiful. A string is beautiful if it's possible to partition it into one or more substrings such that each substring has even length. Each substring contains only ones or only zeros. You can change any character in S to zero or one. Return the minimum number of changes required to make string as beautiful. So this is odd. This has to be changed. and this has to be changed in this one operation will be required in this none operation is required so what 
what are the constraints state to the power 5 Okay, so we'll try to implement this. So we are doing this we are first counting what are the number of constraints we have so here we will be having three now we will be at this position it will see whether it is different from the previous character not it is different then we will find the length of it it was having length odd so we'll change it to one and currently we will having temp equal to one and it will have temp go to two now temp equal to three right so at this it is having temp equal to three so count equal to two right and temp equal to one so it has become temp equal to two now it will go to this now it was temp equal to two it will do nothing but uh, temp equal to zero so it will have temp equal to one let us try to submit this two one zero let us try to submit we got accepted solution it was a greedy problem going on to the third sol third problem so you are given zero indexed array of integer nums and an integer target return the length of longest subsequence of nums that sums up to target <coughs> so if no sub sub subsequence exists so we have to return minus one so there are three subsequence in the first example which sums to nine which is four five one three five two three four so longest is three so we have length equal to thousand and target is also thousand we can try a dp method trying all possible solutions whether to take it or not take it So dp of i comma j will denote if we start at i and require sum equal to sum what is the maximum length of subsequence we can get which includes sum right let us try to implement this
okay so we got accepted solution for our dp case let us move on to the last problem which is summary distinct element sum of squares so it is the same question where we have solved for length of array equal to 100 but here we have length equal to 10 to the power 5 correct So in each subarray, we have to find how many distinct value we have. Or instead of finding this number of distinct value in each subarray, we can find this particular distinct value is occurring in how much subarrays that will intuitively reduce our time complexity like in this test case we will find how many subarrays are there which has one distinct value how many subarrays are there which has two distinct value and it can have three distinct value equal to size of array so how can we find the number of subarrays having one distinct value it is nothing but A contiguous subarray which has same values we can find it linearly now how we can find the number of subarrays which are having exactly two distinct values So it can also be found. Now how we can find number of subarrays having exactly three distinct values. So moving on to the explanation part. So first problem is pretty simple you can directly run to for loops and find the squares of each distinct value in each subarray. So no need to explain this pretty simple question. The next question is number of changes required to make binary string beautiful. So it is also a very simple question you just have to follow greedy method so whenever we get a particular string which has odd length we will try to make it even and after that we will see what the change has occurred to the next sequence of numbers like if we have a sequence like 0 0 0 1 1 0 so we will start traversing from the first and if we find any digit or any sequence of same numbers which is having odd length so we will try to make it even by changing it value now we will also take into consideration that the other sequence has increased one digit so we will add this particular value to our counter and again we will find what is the length of next sequence which is having same characters so next sequence having three characters so we will try to make it zero now again we will try to find what is the next sequence and as it is having even length so the total sequence will have exactly even number of odd sequence because to make it even length the number of odd sequence length should be even so likewise we can approach the problem so for finding the 
this is the code you can initialize a counter variable and whenever we find there is a different string so we have initialized a temp variable which will be storing the length of the previous sequence which is having same characters now if the length of sequence is odd so we have to apply operation <coughs> and in this case we have initialized the temp equal to 1 because as we have changed the characters so the next sequence will have this one character included otherwise if it has length equal to 0 so temp will be initialized to 0 right likewise we will return the count at last so this was the explanation to the problem 3 so the third problem so in the third problem you are given an array and a target so you have to find the length of longest subsequence which is having sum equal to target so i think it is pretty standard question of dynamic programming you can try every sequence that is forming and find whether if it has some equal to target or not but it has a minor change you should also see this is a recursion where we are passing the nums the sum and the current index now we can take the current value if and only if it doesn't exist exit the target right so if we can take it so there are two options whether to include it or not include it what if we include it so if we include the number the length will be increased by one so we have increased it otherwise it will remain same and some will also gonna remain same right so in the base case where we will reach the end we will find whether the sum is equal to zero or not whether we have find the sum equal to target or not so if it has some equal to target we will make that oh yes we have find it a particular sequence which has some equal to target <coughs> and this okay variable will show that whether we have at least one sequence which is uh, meeting the conditions or not and in this we will return a zero that no particular sequence is there otherwise we will returning a very minimum value and this is the recursion and we will initialize the tp vector to an end target and at last we will return maximum value or maximum length of the sequence which is having some equal to target so this was solution to the problem 3 so that was about explanation and screen cost of this recording thank you so much